Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back. Thet plays Civilization VI, Gathering Storm. We got air down here on a new continent of Nuna. It's doing pretty well so far. I mean, it's not. It's starving, but, you know, all things considered, I guess it could be doing worse. Look, leave me alone. Uh, we could totally promote these crossbows whenever uh, Timor becomes unuseful to us. Which will probably be when the crossbows become a modern unit. Uh, no, no, more gold per turn. Eight gold per turn? Done. That's amazing. Holy cow, how could I turn that down? We got extra die. Oh. Bologna has gone to war with Arabia. Reina is now in air, which means it should grow a little bit faster. Which will hopefully be good. Builder's going to move over here. Build ourselves a sawmill. And hopefully we can expand fast enough so that we own this entire island without anyone else getting here. We've got a trade route with Buenos Aires, which means we can finally trade with someone else. Greece has become a merchant republic, so, you know, we're on the same page there. Much appreciated, Greece. Mongolia is still loving their hairy, heavy chariots. It's hairy chariots? Really? Is that what you almost said? Two envoys. Anywhere we don't have one that we would want one yet. Moheno Daro. Two culture in the capital. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. We could become Vilnius's uh, suzerain with one more. For the highest alliance level, all your theater square districts receive 50% adjacency bonus. Okay. I don't know if that's that useful. Lisbon, not that useful yet. Hmm... Extra production sounds useful. So let's go in the... Actually, no. Muscat. Sounds good. We don't have the extra gold in the capital yet. Extra amenities and cities with a hub, commercial hub sound really good, too. So let's start pouring some envoys into Muscat. All right. Extra science and culture from trading with someone else. Actually, we do get those from trading with Buenos Aires as well. Atusa wants a trade route. So you know what? We'll do a trade route with them and get ourselves a free envoy. All right. Definitely needed that production. Grainer will go up faster. They'll get food faster. It'll be good. Bottom line, uh, air needs more food. A lot more food. Industrialization is about... Wow, we're going to get industrialization, humanism, and the Forbidden City all at the same time. And not go to a joint war with Saladin. Why would you even offer that? I'm actually insulted. The whole palace complex is built along a central axis, the axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. Wild card policy slot, some culture. All good stuff. Discovery of industrialization by Scotland sets the world stage for future discoveries in the industrial the era. Words of violent economics are urbanization, industrialization, centralization, efficiency, quantity, speed. We need a factory, which we can build now. The we have learned of a method to supply power to our city, but our wisest minds have developed plans to build a new device. The four characteristics of humanism are curiosity. A free mind, belief in good taste, and belief in the human race. Invention could be pretty good. Extra great engineer points per turn. In fact, we have a new policy slot. We could totally throw invention in there. I kind of like that idea. Go towards scientists, go towards invention. Yeah. I mean, Brunichelli, that's more wonder points. We almost have um, Anna over here as well, who will give us an envoy, if and we want to take it. We got coal right here, under this. So we're going to need to... Well, this says three coal per turn. So yeah, I'm going to take it. 
Our roads have been upgraded. Awesome. And six era score from that. Beautiful. Give me metal casting now. As for civics, I mean, the Enlightenment sounds pretty good. Sounds Scottish to me. Uh, we have Forbidden City up and running. I want the Patala Palace. Because I would love to have a diplomatic policy slot. But... <laughs> there are reasons that that wouldn't be useful as well. But man, it seems so tempting. Let's get that workshop. Let's get the workshop, the factory, and all that good stuff. And then maybe we can go for Patala Palace after that. We'll see. Oop. Apparently America and Sweden are going to war. Don't know if you knew about this. There's our new great person. Anna. She needs to move. There we go. Just give me an envoy. Alright. And put that in Muscat so we can have another suzerain. Which is more amenities everywhere that has a commercial hub. Which right now is definitely not everywhere, but still it's nice. Awesome. We've apparently met a representative of Bologna. Who wants a trade route. And now we know everything around Muscat as well. So that was a big, big move, I think. A big brain move, if I may say so myself. You could disagree, and you probably do. But I liked it. Genghis, what are you doing? Oh, Genghis' turn took a while there. Mexico City has declared war on Japan. Pretty sure that's the second time they've gone to war. Where is Mexico City? Right here? Hmm. Might need to be able to do something about that eventually. But it's difficult because we're not actually near a city-state. Uh, you guys are going to sleep here. Yeah. You guys are going to stay in Edinburgh to defend it. That was the whole plan in a nutshell. So I guess America wants to claim all the jade since that's where it is. You want iron? No, no. Eight. No? Three? No. No deal, dude. Mongolia over here is giving me eight per turn for some freaking dyes. You won't give me freaking gold per turn for iron? Something you could use to make better warriors? America has taken over Takamatsu. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it's not very loyal to them. There's an emergency. Let me guess. So oh, America hurt me. Yeah. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Keep me out of your petty wars. An encampment has been done in Roxborough. Give me a barracks. Forest has got a harbor. Lighthouse seems like a really easy upgrade there. Plus, it'll finally, I think, unlock some more trade routes for us. Which is something we've been really, really lacking on, is trade. Scotland's been very insular so far. Japan has denounced America. Yeah, I don't care about this particular emergency. Air needs food, I know. But at least now they're equal. Okay, they're even. Yeah, pass. Workshop done in Sterling. That took, like, zero time. This becoming a more and more attractive area here. Tala Palace, 21 turns. But the factory. Seven turns. Let's do it. Okay, granary's done. Water mill gives us even more food, so I gotta go with that. Seems like a fairly easy choice there. Hi! We're back! Sweden has added a new settlement. No, no, no. I want to learn about this new settlement. Horrible. I probably, I know I butchered that, but... Where is it? Where are you? Nope. No. Don't care. I mean, it would be ex an excuse to go to war with them and maybe take Orleans, but... I don't care, neither did anyone else other than... 
Japan and Sweden. Someone, until you've stood at his forge and worked with his hammer. Bombards. New siege, new anti-cavalry units. Cool. Yeah, there's a new city. Wow. Sweden is small. What are they, like five cities large in totality? Yeah, they're pretty small. Never noticed that before. Dude, New Orleans is getting wrecked over here. Uh, let's go with ballistics. Because that'll give me field cannons, which I can upgrade my range units into. There's a camp down here. They're probably producing... Oh, hi. How you doing? Might as well have you guys move there. Kick they butts! Howdy! Get out of my housey! Freaking barbarian bastards. Yeah, we'll take this hut. Why not? Everyone seems to like us well enough. I don't want to trade my niter. I should be giving away my iron now that's not useful to me. And probably my horses. Ooh, there's coal over here. Sweet. Yeah, it looks like we're not tapping that coal per turn, so we are going to need to actually put something on there. Anyway, automate the exploration. Which is unfortunate, but it does mean... Too many units of the same type in this location. Joan, you're making things difficult. Go to the Forbidden Palace. Don't worry, it's not actually forbidden. It's just a fancy name. Give me a builder. We need to... Unfortunately, we need to get rid of this lumber mill. Five production here! Ugh, it hurts. Zulu is switched After with theocracy. Loss loyalty, a nearby foreign city has declared independence from its... Yep, that is... Yep, Takamatsu. Who I'm guessing... They're going to join Sweden. Look at that. How interesting. We have increased trade route capacity. It took three million years. But we finally have increased trade route capacity. Okay, you need to come over here. And we're going to have to change out what we're building there. Not proud of it. 580 gold to buy a trader. Well, you know what? Let's see if we can get that. Hey, America. I heard you're running a war. Excuse me while I do your job for you, which is basically, you know, give you stuff to run wars with. But, uh, how would you like 38 horses? Tell you what, let's just talk in terms of raw gold. You will not even give me 100 gold. Okay. Fine. Fine. You know what? That's fine. Do it. Alright. Who are you at war with again? Japan? Japan! Hello! How are you guys doing? I understand that you have some war going on. I was wondering if you would like some horses. You give me one gold. Oh, you're out? You're, you guys are broke! Oh, jeez. Never mind. You have my pity. Uh, Sweden! Hello! I hear you're at war with the Americans. Would you like some iron? I notice you don't have any. Five gold per turn. Yeah, baby. Let's do it. That's how you do. All right. You know, we're just slinging some supplies towards both sides of the conflict, as you do. Dude, it, are New Orleans going to actually lose to barbarians? Civic boosted for reform, church, and mercantilism. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dude. What is contrary to nature is contrary to reason. And whatsoever is contrary to reason is absurd. Extra gold from buildings in commercial hubs. Extra science from buildings in campuses. Okay. Bye-bye, Trade Confederation. Hello, rationalism. Our science is right now 130. What is it n What is it now? 146. Love it. Mercantilism. Church. Yep. We got that from the villagers. That I guess were somewhere. Oh, down here. Right here. Knowledge of scientific theory has advanced as well. Alright, head back to air. 
Good job, guys. All awesome. Let's go toward mercantilism since we got a boost to it. Air is growing. Oh, it's because it has access to turtles now. I mean, that just makes sense. Poor New Orleans. I mean, I kind of feel bad for them. You know? Getting rocked by barbarians. I'm kind of thinking you guys deserve a little bit better than that. But, you know, who am I to know for sure? You want my horses. You know what? That makes sense. Have some horses. I could be Genghis's primary supplier of horses. Christina and Hojo have made peace. So now I think they're just at war with America. Hello. Candy warrior. How you doing? Residents, residents of Sterling brag of living in the world's largest, most sophisticated city. Knowledge toward urbanization is advanced. Fifteen population. What a nice place. Armory done in Dumfries. I think it is time to start looking at commercial hubs. Let's get one. Yeah, you're gonna have to tear this down, unfortunately. I mean, it still gives us three production, and the factory's gonna offset the production loss that we had there. It still hurts a little bit, you know? You know what else hurts? Happen to watch this. Zulu and Sweden are trading. Someone else has built Jebel Barkle, which means Teddy won't have to worry about... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Teddy won't have to worry about iron anytime soon. Oh, my. Just awful. Uh, yeah. Oh, but the production! Oh, but the production! Six per turn now! Mwah. And coal! Glorious, glorious, dirty coal! It's in our grasp. Now we just have to find some of those dead dinosaur juices. You know what I'm talking about. Alright. Work in the city proceeds fitfully, for the city is short of power. If Yeah, yeah, I know. They'd love to have some power now. Two power can be used to enhance the city a bit more. It'd be pretty great. Filipino Filippio. Filippo. I can say words. Brunichelli. Look at all that production toward wonders. You know what time it is, boys. Time for a power plant. No, time for Ruhr Valley. Yeah, buy food and gold per turn. Please let that still say, you know, not too much. Come on. Okay, we're still getting food per turn. Good. Ruhr Valley's going up. We're boosting it from 26 to 20 turns. You know we're going to make this happen. And next, once that's done, we'll go for power. And then Sterling will be cranking out whatever we want it to at that point. Mm. Oh, there's coal here, too! Yo, Forrest! I'm just going to buy that tile. Hope you don't mind. Get me that coal. Yeah, once that's done... Maybe we'll expand to... Actually, we got to expand to that Northwest Ireland first. Yeah, this one. Okay. Crossbowmen, you're back in position. Stay there. Stay lovely. You do you. And whatnot. Can't believe we found another source of coal here. Ooh, and we are actually extending toward this one as well. Air should be able to extend by itself to get to it. It's just going to... God damn. This is going to take some time. Apparently a tornado family named Grease has uh, petered out. Hello. How you doing? Roxburgh got us a barracks. Let's go ahead and get an armory next. Keep getting that production going. Yeah, throw some points into this. Already 12 turns away. 12 beautiful, glorious turns. How we looking? We are six technologies ahead. Over a hundred science per turn ahead of Saladin right now. Oh my god. We could probably start turning toward... Uh, we're so bad on faith, though. 
we could probably start turning our eyes toward military a little bit. Oh yeah, they're... Nobody's even close on religion. Alright. Awesome stuff. Feel like we're going in the right direction. Ballistics is almost done, which means it's going to be time to upgrade our crossbows into something even more powerful. And again, once all that's done, we can possibly look at building our... Either our... Com no, I'm not giving you coal. Are you nuts? Building our commerce or building our military? Japan and America are trading. Good for them. Let's get on our knees and pray. I don't know to whom. Is there a patron saint of ballistics yet? <laughs> Didn't know they had a quote from Adam Savage in here. Pretty great. Field cannons. Good. Curacers. Okay. Requires iron. A lot of maintenance. A lot of gold per turn for those units. I guess we can get some military science next. Got ourselves, uh, ooh, Dimitri Mendeleev. Extra Eureka moment for chemistry and random technology from the industrial era. Harbor's done in Edinburgh. Go ahead and get me a monument. Okay, you're not on the campus yet. I see how it is. Yeah, definitely get me more production here. Production on our little island is off the charts. That's something I'm quite proud of so far. Trade leaves a lot to be desired. That's right, we're going to buy a trader. I forgot about it. We discovered Atlantis. Neat. Apparently the Greece already knew about it. What with their Taoism. Alright, we're close to avoiding a Dark Age as well. We're going to put a commercial district there. Once Forez grows large enough to make that happen. So keeping that in mind, there's no point in putting a farm there. Instead... Let's see, we claim this iron. We claim this stone. We could use some fishing boats around these places. Let's do that. Help out another land. Or just take a gaze off the Irish Sea. It looks nice, doesn't it? I can't deny it. Alright, water mill is almost done. There you go. Knowledge of sanitation is advanced. As well as chemistry. Beautiful. Beautiful. Even more knowledge. I like knowledge. I like knowing things. Wouldn't you know it? Yeah. Tatsumaku. Takamatsu. Excuse me. Takamatsu has decided to join Sweden. Over here. Well, I guess that's one way to grow. There's also a flood over here. Alright, air is going to actually grow now. So the next question is, what do we do for the city? And I think a harbor is like an easy choice, but an industrial zone would be good too. Let's go with the harbor. Yeah, air could use a harbor. 37 turns is quite a while away, but it's not insurmountable. Commercial hub's almost done. Shipyard's almost done. Lots of good stuff are ha is happening. Zulu has denounced Arabia. Uh, that's a terrible deal, and I hate you for even suggesting it. Uh, Kila Kisiwani has been finished by Hungary. We've lost our suzerain status in Hattusa. In a market hmm. economy, however, the individual has some possibility of escaping from the power of the state. Camps receive extra production and food. Dude, I am so happy I built the Temple of Artemis. Privateers are available. Drill manuals. All ooh, Niner and coal ec yield extra resources. I might need to get that. Triangular trade. Extra, a lot of extra gold and faith from trade routes. And then extra movement if starting turn is in friendly territory. Conscription. We're not losing... I mean, we have like four units. So I think that's actually worth giving up for... Not logistics. Drill manuals. I like triangular trade, but we would need more economic policies to make that happen. And I kind of like what I'm getting out of my... Oops, uh, confirm, yes. I kind of like what I'm getting out of my uh, great person points right now. I'm getting 25 per turn. 
We might not get Charles Darwin. But that's fine. We're at 18 per turn on Great Engineers, and the second highest is 2 per turn. Like, we're crushing it. And soon we're going to be in the race for, um... For Great Merchants as well. Alright, losing that Suzerain status doesn't hurt a lot, but I don't like it. Let's learn about colonialism, why don't we? I mean, we got plenty of colonies off, off the home continent. You'd think we'd know about this by now. Let me take a look at the, uh... Whoop. Three gold per turn? For ivory? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Let me take a look at the settler map real quick. I could build another settler over here, but I still like the idea of getting it on a completely different continent. Or a different landmass, I should say. Progress towards civil engineering, because we've constructed so many different types of districts. Lovely. Alright, Forez shipyard's done. Could work on the factory next. Could work on Alhambra for a military slot. Two plus amenities from entertainment and two great general points. I don't know if any if that's all that good though. So I'm thinking. Actually, mid Extra walls might be good too, but I think I'm gonna go with the factory. Tourism's actually not that important. We're not we disabled culture victory. Give me a market. Definitely hit me up with that market, finally. It's been a little too long, you could argue. Dude. New Orleans is still over there getting absolutely crushed. Alright. Ooh, we get four hundred gold from harvesting this crab. I mean it's a regular tile. But it could be worth so much more. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, that doubled the speed that Dundee can grow. Which means it also gave us a buttload of gold. Per turn. Because, you know, they're using the slot. Uh, Christina and Teddy have made peace. Cool. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Peace, that is. Because it gives me time to continue sciencing. Japan has denounced Arabia. Tugula River has flooded. How we doing? We are boldly ahead in the industrial era now. Freaking America. What are they doing when it comes to freaking civics that's push pushing them so far ahead? Got a new continent. Laurentia. Also lost another suzerain status. I mean, ain't much happening on that continent. Let's be real. Oh, no. That's Hattusa again. Thought we'd already lost them. Alright. I thought that happened a while ago, but apparently not. Just wanted to confuse me a bit, I see. There's only so much to discover, and I'm afraid I cannot abide anyone who sets out ahead of my own explorers. Well, too bad! Because we're going to continue exploring. Sweden is trading with Zulu. Uh, Kotokun. Koto... I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but anyway, Hungary made it. Uh, Dundee needs housing. Yep, I know. They might be able to get it soon. I actually, the lighthouse provides a house. Pretty sure that's the case. Several closely situated granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth dramatically soar about a kilometer into the sky. Doubles yields of all adjacent tiles. Wow. Torres del Paine. Amazing. That might be one of the best wonders. Holy crap. Doubles the yields of adjacent tiles. Hey! Following a few have gone before, Scotland circumnavigates the entire globe. Are we the first to do it? No. But we've done it. That's what's important. I mean, it doesn't look like we have. It looks like there's still a gap here. But, you know, if you say we have, I'm not going to argue. Yeah, that is a great natural wonder. Jeez. India up here basically all by itself as well. Maybe not all by itself as we are. Because Scotland is very, very insulated. In fact, we could put a city here and put a city here. What is this? That's just marsh. Hey, we stayed out of a dark age. 
somehow. That was a big gap that we had to reach there between the last stage and this one, so I'm very happy we did. Probably because we're in the lead when it comes to going from age to age. We would need 119 to get to the next age, so I don't know if that's going to happen. We're looking pretty contiguous up here, except for a connection between Edinburgh and Cullen. The strategy. You should occasionally look at the results. Cavalry are available. Military Academy available. Extra production. A housing slot. Definitely wouldn't turn that down. Uh, we could... Ah, I mean, I feel like we gotta go for rifling. Gotta get our unique unit. Build some Highlanders. Get them exploring the world. How can you not? Anyway, as this turn rolls around, that is gonna be it for this episode of That the Plays. The King pursued the lovers Juan and Maria on his swiftest horse. As he overtook them, Maria flung down her ring and at once rose up seven tall hills, and the king was slowed. Neat. Uh, as I was saying, that is going to be it for this episode of Thet Plays Civilization VI Gathering Storm. If you enjoy the series so far, make sure to let me know by giving a like if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more, because it's going to keep coming and it won't stop coming. Until next time, thanks again for watching this episode of Thet Plays Civilization VI Gathering Storm. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.